Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets, and our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrott, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. Diggity dink. Hello, and welcome back to another week of the Nightwing News. I am Phil. Joining me, as always, it is. Hi, I'm Kristen. And we have some new business to discuss tonight, and... We'll discuss that Robin's mini series we were talking about the uh, last couple months. Diggity dank. Look, we're both in pr- paper. Floppy. <laughs> Yay. Although I will say it was cool how with both that one and the Titans, well, and the Pride special too. I don't know if the Tim one will as well, but the main Pride special also, they immediately have same day release on the. DC Universe. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Heck, yeah. Maybe I'm an old man, but it seems I kind of like... I swear it's easier on my eyes. I like I like reading on paper more than I do on the tablet. I do both, but... Well, no, it is supposed to be better um, yeah. for... That's why if you... I have one of those. If you have a Kindle that's mm-hmm. just the regular Kindle, not the Kindle Fire, you'll notice that the screen is different from the kindle fire screen or a computer screen or your iphone screen and that's because the backlit stuff it is harder on your eyes than than paper um so the kindle tries to kind of mimic paper more so that you can read longer um without it without it hurting yeah I got but the i like it um when they come out both i mean obviously if i wanted to save money then i already am subscribing to i would have to buy them but for me since i don't go to a local shop uh Mm -hmm. it's like local to more to where i used to live um i don't get my i get my stuff at the end of the month uh Mm -hmm. so it's nice if stuff is you know digitally released at the same time yeah in a way that i don't have to pay double for it like i buy nightwing twice (laughs) Mm. Of course you do. That's right. All right, but all right. Last week, Dark Crisis number one came out. See, there he is. Yeah, nice. But no, the first couple pages are were the same pages from like that uh the free comic book day issue I was telling you about. So you know, the beginning is like Dick doing the eulogy, what we already talked about. So, but. and then the only other new Dick Grayson stuff was that. Uh, like at the end, they had him and uh, some of the others like training some of the uh, kids at the tower. Oh, back at the Titan Tower. Yeah. Uh, but then, yeah, bomb goes off, and uh, all right, here's how, here's how we're gonna get uh, the big Dick and Slade fight because yes, Slade's leading a group of villains against the tower. It's a, they basically explain it as, oh, hey, you know, any other time, you know, the Titans would have backup from the Justice League. But, oh, hey, the Justice League's dead, so. And you want to know why Dick's going to go full out? Because, again, he's probably not going to die, but Slade has a gun to Gar's, Gar's head, and then we just see, bang. Man, Gar and Cyborg just got separated from each other when they were in one body at the end of Titans Academy. Mm, They're going through a time of it. So, even if he doesn't die, Gar's probably going to be messed up. So, yeah, Dick's probably not going to be holding back in issue two when he fights Slade. Hardcore. Mm -hmm. So, the dude who's writing it, Joshua Williamson, he briefly came on the live stream for the comic book shop I go to. Oh, yeah. Um, And... Yeah, he seemed cool. Uh, and he was saying, yeah, that uh, he really enjoyed uh, writing that prelude or I forget what it was called, but the one that had the little story where, mm. you know, Nick and Connor were talking because he says, you know, people have died and come back to life before. Surely these characters know. So he said, you know, he's trying to put some stuff in of 
you know, okay, how would they really deal with these goofy comic book situations? And of course, also to let, um, you know, other character, other characters shine. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like Nightwing will be a big part. How Jordan and the Flash is mm-hmm. it will be really big. It said that the stuff that's going on in the Flash book very directly ties in. Yeah, there's like a couple. There's at least two or three tie-ins, I guess, coming up in the Flash book. Yeah, it's Wally, so. And it looks like there's at least one issue where it's like uh, Wally and Hal Jordan, so, yeah. Because Barry's among the missing Justice League, so yeah, the Flash, most through most of this, is probably going to be right. Wally. Well, and it's supposed to be, you know, sh- should they reform the Justice League? Who's going to lead it? Oh, that. Oh, well, that was the other. It's like thing. people are looking to Dick instead of to Hal, I guess, to lead the Justice League. Is he oh, ready yeah. for it? Well, Dick kind of turned John down, you know, John Kent down. So, uh, yeah, no, that was the other thing. Like, I guess John's like trying to form his own Justice League. Mm-hmm. Like, you got Supergirl, both Blue Beetles, Booster Gold, Harley Quinn. <laughs> what? <laughs> and of course, uh, of course, John's going to invite his best friend. Uh, Mr. Damian Wayne. Uh, uh, that's an interesting Justice League lineup. <laughs> I think it's basically everyone who told him yes. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, because Dick's, okay, Dick's kind of turned him down. Because he doesn't believe Bruce is dead. I guess, yeah. What well, I just, well, I wonder even if he doesn't believe Bruce is dead after this whole death stroke attack, if Dick's going to be like, okay, we have to do something because, yeah, the Justice League's going to be back one day, but until then, we need to. You know, yeah. These guys, these guys think the rest of us are easy pickings. No. Yeah, because it looks like those people. As much as Damien thinks he's ready to be leader of the Justice League, he is not. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be him every two seconds. Ah, t- I should be leading. <laughs> you're, he should, I, and then John's gonna be like, "You're 13. Well, you were 13 like two weeks ago. Shut up." <laughs> it's like, yeah, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> exactly. Oh, but I did finally catch up on my Young Justice. I finished the season, so. He's not dead. <laughs> no, yay. I told you it was going to be a Batman trick. I don't. I mean, you. I figured it probably would be, yeah. but it still freaked me out. So I was like. I, I love how he's like, I cut my own head. You know, that's an old wrestling trick. <laughs> yeah. And then I slow my heartbeat down. That's an old Batman trick. Mm. That's what we were waiting on, kids. Nightwing. I mean, look who comes first in those credits. Come on. They they know where their bread's buttered. We'll see what happens next season. Yeah. Hopefully they wasn't really in this one that much. Yeah, hopefully they get they haven't did they announce another season yet? I'm sure it'll happen. I mean I don't know. I mean I know what was it is it Greg Wiseman's whoever's in charge of that? I, I saw on social media a few weeks or months ago saying, Yeah, if you want another season, yeah, make sure you know you street, you know, rewatch rewatch them, stream it, yeah, do you know, whatever they need to get the numbers up or whatever. Show them we want show them you want more young justice. It always seems like I don't know, maybe is the animation more expensive than Live action? Uh, I know it takes a lot more time. I mean, I'm I don't I don't know if it's I don't know if it's cheaper or not, but I know it I know it takes a lot of time, I think. Yeah. yeah that's it. I don't know, unless they're like, hey, if they're not getting the numbers, we can give an animated something to somebody else. I mean, because I feel like people are always like, Yeah, Young Justice is better than Titans, but we don't really seem to have issues getting Titans renewed. <laughs> exactly. I know. Mean, I, th- I think they said. I don't know. If, is that still in the works? I thought they were talking about doing some new Batman. They animated something or other. So, yeah. I I don't know if it's gonna be closer to like the Rob Pattinson stuff or. Who knows? We'll see what happens. When it happens. Bat- I want an order of Batman. So I get a Nightwing in there. <laughs> or at least a Dick Grayson Robin. <laughs> Uh, let's, we'll just wait and see what happens. We won't catch, count our chickens before they hatch, as they say. I'll believe yeah. it when I see it. <laughs> you need some Dick Grayson Robin? Tune in next month, kids. <laughs> All right. Speaking, Speaking of, of Robin. Dick Grayson Robin, that's a good segue into Robins. That's right. There's, so a, good interesting. Chance. There's yeah. a good chance one of your favorite Robins is in this book. <laughs> I mean, 
Yes, unless if your favorite Robin is like Robin One Million or something. <laughs> or Carrie Kelly, yeah. yeah. So what did you think overall before we dive in? Because it's lots of issues, so we'll just have to talk about our favorite stuff. Or our least favorite stuff. I yeah, say. I mean, I like the I like most of the interaction between the, the Robins, but I don't know, just the whole thing of like, you know, Bruce had this earlier partner and stuff. I'm like, don't try to retcon somebody before Dick Grayson, you know? Well, it's like it's been done. <laughs> they, remember there was it's kind of was like Batman and Robin yeah. Eternal was this other uh was this other person. Um yeah, well, and I have hadn't really thought about it, but then when I was reading some comments on the Webtoon Wayne Family Adventure Adventures, which mm -hmm. is awesome, um, some people were like, eh, "I don't, I don't really like Robin's um, the miniseries," and that kind of got me thinking. And I was like, "Yeah, it wasn't." I felt like for me, I liked it less as we kept going. Um, I think I liked issues one through three much more than I liked issues four, five, and six. Um, aside from the hug, of course, in issue six. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I think um, they, they 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 probably could have kept it a little tighter. I don't know if this needed to be six whole issues. Uh, I don't know, and the art was serviceable, but it wasn't exactly my favorite. Like, if you look at certain panels, like it would be like they didn't they even give Dick like longer hair. Like it almost without like different hair, and it would almost be hard to tell, you know, between like Dick and T Jason. Yes, um, yes, I think that was definitely part of it as well. Is well, a lot of times when they're in costume, they look good, but when they're not, something's weird about the art. And yeah. yes, Dick's hair grew throughout the first issue because it's definitely not in the very first panels. It's not, it's like my length. And then by when there is sitting at home, he's like tying it up in a bun. And there's, there's not enough here to tie it up into a bun like that. Um, and then Tim's cape gets shorter. His cape is you know the sort of full length if yeah. you will and then some in the second issue his cape is like like look at that one look how short his cape is there oh. like barely just goes to his waist i was like what uh and I sometimes mean, their faces are weird there were a couple times yeah. where Nick was kind of yelling at bruce and he was like ah, and his face looks all weird uh, yeah i mean it's written by tim seeley who writes a great nightwing but uh yeah, the artist, I wonder if like some of this like stuff like this is like sometimes like tryouts for people. So I wonder if this was kind of like a tryout for this artist because I wasn't familiar with the artist. Right. And it's oh. weird because on the surface, when you're just glancing at it, I think it looks good. Yeah. But then there are some mostly the close ups of the faces and you're like, what is going on? <laughs> like you said, when they're in costume, it looks pretty good. But yeah, it's just when they get out of costume. I think though the other thing, and this might be um, helping to explain. Just a sec, I gotta close my window. All right. But yeah, some of this art is very weird. Yeah, big brainstorm. Um, I do think maybe part of the reason that, um, particularly the, some of the people, because Wayne Family Adventures is extremely wholesome, which is part of the reason I like it. It's super cute. Yeah. Um, and I think generally Seeley writes a good, uh, Dick Grayson, but his Dick Grayson is good, but not quite as positive, I guess I would say as like, uh, Tom Taylor's, um, Dick Grayson, if that makes sense. Well, I don't even think this was on the level of like when Tim Seeley was writing the, the Nightwing, regular Nightwing book. I don't know if it's just like a thing of two also just we're trying to give something for everyone to do this this story too so well that part i thought was that part i thought was good i'm thinking yeah. maybe people didn't totally love it because of the whole conceit of them getting together and being like should we have been robin no that was bad yeah. um that seems kind of that seems kind of weird yeah um, like, like all of them questioning the whole idea of yeah robin yeah yeah um so i'm so i feel like that's what i mean in a sense of because Tim Seeley, like I said, I thought he wrote a good um, Nightwing, and he, but he, you know, he wrote him in in Grayson and Spiral when he was a spy, and so that's a slightly different tone than in Nightwing. And so I think people who particularly like Wayne Family Adventures are going to like, like me, we're really going to like Tom Taylor's because 
it's like bright and happy dick hanging out with his friends and you know there's a certain element of even if dick is a happy spy he's still a spy so it's not quite as happy does that make sense what i'm saying oh yeah 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 so I feel like maybe this Robin's had like a slightly darker tone than some, than some, and some people that's totally their jam, but I feel like some people on that comment book where I was reading, it was probably not as smiley um, for them. And so that I understood. Cause like, yeah, I mean, it was fine with the, with the Jenny Wren, um, but you know, it felt like been there, done that um, kind of, kind of thing. Uh, but I think I was a little put off by the, like, should we have been Robin? And them all kind of saying, no, that seemed, that seemed a little weird. Yeah. I think it's a whole thing where it's just like between the whole conspiracy of this, like unknown first Robin. And then it's like between her and just them getting together. Uh, yeah. That was the whole theme. It's just like, Hey, let's question the idea of Robin. Should Bruce have put this whole thing in motion? Blah, 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 blah. Again, it's, it's cut right. again. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but yeah, it, that's, I feel like it almost would have made more sense if the person if like Jenny Wren was making them question Robin as opposed mm. to them getting like them getting together to hang out totally makes sense. But them yeah. getting together to hang out to be like, should we have been Robin as opposed to let's get together and hang out and reminisce about Robin? Because it feels like Dick wouldn't call a meeting for that. Dick would call a meeting for something more upbeat. And if someone was going to be like, hey, we should call a meeting to talk about how Robin is not a good thing, that would be Jason. <laughs> yeah, I just want... Yeah, he's the one that died. <laughs> we're getting to, I wonder... It, well, yeah, exactly, because it's like... I wonder if it's hard mixing, because like I was like, hey, you could have went with a lighter story with like, oh, hey, there's a mystery, you know, we can all solve, you know, something cute. But it's like... I don't know if you can go cute, too cute with like Jason and Damien, but it's like, you don't want to go too dark with the rest of them. So it's like, you kind of have to do a mix and it's maybe that's the reason why we don't have a monthly book with all of them, at, you know, every month. It's just, it's just because the tone is different with, a, with uh, all the Robins. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think if you had a Robins book, you would want to like cycle the Robins through. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so like it wouldn't have to be all five of them all the time. Yeah. No, like, you, you one, take turns. Yeah. One, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like Brave and the Bold. You always had a Robin and somebody else. Um, but that being said, like, I did think a lot of the interactions were good. And I do think, I think part of why, probably, and if you also, Dick, like, really shines as the on top of it competent Robin in the earlier issues. And yeah. then the other Robins kind of get their turns in the later issue, which is good and is important to the overall story. But, you yeah. know, since we're primarily Nightwing fans, I liked it better when he was the one that was, uh, you know, crushing it, um, as they say. Well, yeah, that's yeah, because you also have to. Yeah, you have to give everyone their their uh, time in the spotlight. Yeah. So right. And of course, I, the first issue, I think, is very good. Um, because you know, Nightwing is, you know, you guys should just go play Dungeons and Dragons instead. You know, you should be a healer, you have big paladin energy. I was just looking at that scene of them fighting those fake uh Batman rogues in the beginning of issue three. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in one. So, there are some funny um quips in that, like. Damien says, you know, calls Tim Drake, and he says, codenames only, Damien. Please, you're the genius who temporarily called himself the Drake. So that was funny. Um, and then Dick, again, being like, guys, we can figure out the password. What did Batman teach us? Like, you know, criminals are a superstitious and cowardly lot, so they realize the password is A. But yeah, I mean... I how Nightwing, like, or I mean, Jason flops the guy on, so he ends up getting blown up by his own bomb pack. And Nightwing's like, "We're gonna have words," and they're trying to sneak out. And he's like, "I got you all here. We're doing this." I tried. Damien, none shall escape the shadow of the Nightwing. So that was good. But yeah, I feel like it's when they get to Dick's house that the art starts to go downhill, and you're like. Wait, yeah. who are these people? Like, why are their noses so pointy? And why did their hair suddenly grow? I know. 
Because that's a, it's like, is this story in continuity? Because it's like Dick's hair. How long has it been since Dick's hair has been that long? And it's just like, uh, again, I think it's another artistic thing to show the differences, but right. But but yeah, it's weird to me. And it almost Although, seems like- I mean, they do they do give you a good kind of like backstory that if you didn't really know anything about the Robins, um, you know, you get like a pretty good yeah. encapsulation of them. And I did like how he worked the gauntlets and and stuff in. So it's like overall, I liked it. It just there were some things that I was like. This isn't totally my thing. And probably the art is the biggest drawback. (laughs) Yeah, the art is, yeah. I mean, and it makes complete sense for the story, but I mean, is it almost like a trope where it's just like, oh, we're mad at Bruce for something? Yes, that's true. I think the other reason that I didn't totally love it is because, or no, uh, uh, the part that I one part is the computery stuff. Because I don't, like, I still don't really understand how that was supposed to work like it looked like they were shooting that stuff into their eyeballs and somehow tim was able to get himself through the game and and lead them i don't know i just i don't understand i don't understand and a part of me is like can you even really do that in video games or is this um comic book comic book video games oh it's comic book but yeah yeah it it gets kind of confusing and i wonder if like just because the art wasn't our favorite that didn't help it because this is a visual medium so yeah because i have like no doubt that of course tim could do that kind of stuff because he's the computer dude and you know as i said um the video game uh designer sort of thing which that's another one um that it kind of threw me off a little bit uh but yeah i didn't understand how it worked i was like how does this work how is this possible i mean i understand programming but i don't know it seemed like i don't know and like i said it looked like they were shooting the video game right into their eyeballs yeah and again, like these round robin mm-hmm. books, again, I don't know if this, these are like tryouts for some people. Cause like when you, if you look at like all the books that are announced like this year too, I think Superboy won this year or whatever, but it's like a lot of the artists aren't familiar, which again, I think a lot of the current writers and artists are like busy doing tons of, book, you know, different books every month. So, I mean, again, I don't know if this is like a tryout, you know, to try to get, you know, gauge of like, oh, hey, are people going to like this? You know, do we want to hire this person? So, yeah. um, but I thought it was kind of funny. I mean, I of course prefer when Dick is like, I picked the name Robin, you know, because my mom, this kind of thing. He's like, sometimes I don't remember if Robin was my idea or Bruce's because that, like, yeah. you know, goes back to that convoluted continuity back in the day. Yep. And also, it's pretty funny. Um, how Stephanie's like, I was the shortest Robin at 71 days, and Tim's like, 48, you were technically suspended for three weeks. <laughs> and he's like, Damn, no. <laughs> like, dude, this is not the place. <laughs> it's also kind of funny that Tim is like, I was so young when I made that decision. It's like, yeah, I mean, you all were, but like, you weren't even the youngest. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think he was. Uh, was he like 12 or 13 i think yeah i mean yeah it depends sometimes even more like 14 i don't know it's all kind of nebulous you know because they yeah it depends because i think the first like uh in lonely place of dying like his first story i think he's like oh 12 almost 13 yeah but then other stories yeah he might be closer to 13 or 14 i was thinking he was more like 13 i didn't think he was 12 okay yeah, it's something like that. I'd say it's around 13, yeah. It's pretty sad, kids. Yes. Uh, yeah, Tim and I were around the same age, I think, when he first appeared. So, yeah. Because I remember I was like, I'm around that same age. Nice. So he was your jam. And then you then you outgrew all your, you outgrew all your favorite characters, kids. I, I think I'm older than... When does Bat, Batman usually uh, hovers around 30 or so? Yeah, I'm... I feel like they've been a little bit allowing him to be older. I feel like he's in yeah, but he's, his 30s. He's not over 40. But... He's not over 40. I know that. Yeah. 
I know you start you start out as the sidekick and you end up as Alfred. <laughs> I mean, think, I mean think, it just amazes me that it's just like you know Dick Grayson was around for how long before either one of us was born and he'll be around after we're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But hopefully, some of you people. Whoa. Hopefully, some of you people will uh, listen to this even when we're gone. Kristen just got knocked off. I wonder if she hit a button. All right. Uh, but yeah, this was the, I believe, the 2021 round robin winner. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, yeah, they threw out like a bunch of uh, different series ideas and people vote for a couple weeks until they w- went and went down the one, which, yeah, Robbins, I believe, was 2021 because this year, like I said, I know Will Allred and I were. Uh, watching it for uh, Sector 2814, our Green Lantern podcast, because there was like two different Green Lantern series, one with Alan Scott and one with uh, John Stewart. And neither one of them won. It came to, I believe it is a Super the Superboy series one. So, which good for them. I thought the Superman and, and all that Superman, Superboy brand was hurting, but I guess not. There you are. I don't know what happened. I thought you I hit a button or something. And then it was like, Poof! It didn't like my the whole thing went away. I was like, yeah. I all of a sudden, your screen just disappeared. So I was just like, oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, Phil, if it happens again, soldier out without me. That's what I'm trying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess I better get in. Uh, quick, all of my <laughs> all of my things. Uh, that I want to say. Okay, I think that was. The other thing that was weird to me is um, what Bruce thought they would all become, like, in the game, what Bruce thought they would all become. I mean, Jason's thing with the race car, that made sense. I guess Steph's, yeah, Tim is the video game. But I don't think that, I feel like Tim Seeley did that because that's the Nightwing that he, that's the Dick Grayson that he first wrote. Because I don't think that if Dick hadn't become Robin, he would have become a spy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I think if Dick hadn't become Robin, he would either have gone back to the circus or he would have gone into some sort of helping profession like teaching, social worker, uh, oh, yeah. you know, something like something like that, but not a spy. <laughs> I think that was like, yeah, that was just that was just a callback to the Grayson series, yeah. Right, yeah. Cause I was like, uh no, the only reason he became a spy is because he was already a hero. <laughs> exactly. And Bruce Abbott. So that part I thought was a little that part I was like, mm. and I don't know. On the one hand, I get it a little bit, Damien becoming a monk, a Buddhist monk, but also not. <laughs> exactly. But okay. I feel like because overall I liked it, but um yeah. I yeah. think. I liked the callbacks to the gauntlets. That was good. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> that that special we did way way back. Yes, and yeah, well, because Tim, or excuse me, Tim Dick was the one that they kind of had to go back and write the gauntlet for because the rest of them are just what naturally happened in the comics, right? Uh, I think. Well, didn't they do Jasons in Nightwing Year One? No, because the one they use for Jason is that um, is that rapist that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the one. It's like pre or post crisis Jason, the one where people are like, "Oh, is Jason bad?" <laughs> oh yeah, the guy slipped off the balcony. Yeah, okay. But Tim with Obey a Man, that was in one of the miniseries, right? No, that was in Detective Comics. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. So, no. Before, so it was in Detective Comics before the miniseries. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's the one where his mother dies, yeah, and his father gets paralyzed, yeah. And then what happened to Steph was also in the comics. Oh, they, uh, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I read this. Yeah, the war game, was it the war, was it war games? Yeah, is that the one where they, you know, she, they faked her death? Well, Leslie. Well, whatever her goal is, is with Scarab. Okay. Yeah, (laughs) It might have been in her quick career as Robin, yeah, because she wasn't Robin long. Yeah, I do remember her fighting Scarab, though, yeah. 73 days or whatever. A couple wishes um, on Robin, that was it. Also, 
it's interesting. Seely's definitely going with the older continuity of like Dick still has friends on the force, um, which I don't think they've clearly established since New 52 if he's ever been a police officer, have they? I don't know because, yeah, because DC, again, they used to like tell you they were going to, re- you know, do a crisis and change stuff, but it's like anymore, they don't want to admit anything, but they slowly start winding stuff back because that's what I was telling Lilith the other day. It's like uh, in an issue of Wonder Woman, since New 52, she had been like, instead of being made from clay wonder woman is like the daughter of zeus or whatever and then like in the one of the current wonder woman books she, you know one of the villains said something about her being made from clay i'm just like oh i guess they changed one back to that old cut that old origin but they never said not you know just a quick one liner yeah. so yeah they don't even say anymore but they're slowly erasing a lot of that new 52 stuff yeah which this isn't so much erasing as just did it happen or not. But he's younger yeah. now. Like, he got a little bit younger. Well, and the thing is, is I feel like they're not going to make it obvious. Because now, like, it was, it kind of worked in the 90s and early 2000s. But yeah. I cannot see DC making a superhero a cop now, given the yeah, no, no, yeah. Like, you could get away with it back then. But now... Uh, like it's just, we just know more and it's a bad idea. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that, but so this I thought was kind of funny and again, it kind of mixes, I kind of liked it cause it like mixes, it kind of harkens back to the older continuity as well. Um, when, when, um, Bruce is like, I want you to promise and I want Tim to promise because Jason and Damien lie all the time. And then Dick slides down and he's like, I promise we'll stay off the server and the network. Um, And Bruce is like, okay. And I think that's kind of funny because sometimes they're always like, oh, Dick, he was so, you know, full of life and a little scamp um, when he, when he was Robin. But in a lot of, I mean, in the older Robin continuity, he pretty much always did what he was told. Oh yeah. So I thought that was interesting. That was kind of like a callback. Um, the older things yeah there that's another one look how short tim's cape got there i'm like eh. again are they like trying a to... crop the jacket are they trying to make him look different from like damien but shouldn't damien have the short cape well and that's the thing is his cape was not that short in issue one i know again yeah if you're the artist it's like you gotta you gotta remember how you know this stuff was Along the cave. Oh, yeah, and I don't really remember these. Uh, I mean, have, have we really seen these like giggles and guffaw and stuff before, or are they just like? I think they're there for this. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter, but it's kind of funny how Damien's like, "You did, lied to my father. I mean, you disobeyed the director. It was awesome." And I'm like, yeah. What have you done to Dick Grayson? Like. <laughs> Dark job to keep Batman from falling into the darkness. Um, but I will notice that Dick kind of didn't lie. He technically said, we'll stay off the server and networks bruise, and we'll even steer clear of group chats and Zooms and whatever else the kids use these days, which I guess they mostly do. But Bruce wanted Tim to promise that you won't pursue this un- further until I can secure everything. And that is not what Dick promised. Yeah. So he technically didn't lie <laughs> because they do stay off zooms and the group chats. But yeah, so with the uh, yeah, so then like Robin is with Dick. Robin is dutiful and obedient, but he will always choose his heart. That feels so. That one to me, I was like, yeah, that's good, and that felt really good. And then with Dane, or excuse me, and then with um, Jason. So Jason's like, oh, yeah, it's this chop shop Um, and how Bruce's assessment is Robin's view of everything, especially justice, is informed by his experience on the streets. This will be both an asset and a problem that felt really good. Like those both felt like really good encapsulations of Dick and Jason. I wasn't as confident that the Tim one was felt like he phoned it in a little bit with Tim where he was like. Oh, now he's now he's not a kid anymore. I was like, that's it? That's all you're gonna say to sum it up. 
Yeah, again, there, there's so many characters, you know, I'm glad they were all here, but there are so many characters and so much going on. It's like you could really couldn't focus a lot on one character over the others. Right, but I guess it was just, it just surprised me that it was like, this is how Dick's going to operate. This is how Jason's going to operate. Both very true. And then it's like, Tim, when he used his rage to overcome his fear, he recognized this was no game and he was no longer a child. I mean, I guess, but it feels like you could have said a lot more. <laughs> and he did not, but whatever. But yeah, I was kind of, I mean, again, the writings and the, the, I like Tim Seeley's writing. Yeah, the art is in my cup of tea. I don't, but I mean, it was a good book, but I was kind of expecting, I was kind of hoping for a little more, but I don't, I don't know how to tell you what more I wanted, but I was kind of hoping for a little more from this. I think it's, I think it's that there are just small things. And I yeah. think because it won, well, personally, I think that the first issue is really good. Yeah. Um, I think the first issue, aside from the, like, we're here to decide if being Robin is a bad thing or not. I think most of the stuff in the preview that we were shown and the stuff that was in the first issue is really good. Um, like the first issue is kind of the best issue. Um, and then, then there are like more tiny things in there that I'm like, I liked what you said about Dick. I liked what you said about Jason to wrap up their gauntlet. I feel like you didn't say enough about Tim. I'm not sure how I feel about the thing with Steph. How uh, Bruce is like, she isn't getting revenge for her parents. She's getting revenge on one of them. And that's a fail. But it's like, why is that fail? I mean, Bruce is just biased against Steph anyway. So I guess that kind of makes sense. But Yeah, there's maybe too much negativity. It's just like, oh, is Rob being Robin a good thing? Well, yeah, it is. And then it's like, you know, oh, Bruce has had another. You know, it's like how many conspiracies did Bruce have going on back in the day? It's like. Infinite. Yeah. That should be the next thing. Infinite conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Christ is on And then I thought it was kind of interesting with Damien. How I mean, is that how it happened originally that he chose to spare Tim? Or was it like Batman walked in and was like, WTF, you can't kill that kid? Depends on what you want to believe. It's like, you know, it's a little column A, a little column B. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, they kind of ambushed him in the bad cave, yeah. Right. So it's like moment of mercy or strategy for infiltration. So anyway. All right. Ready for three. Three. Thunder is uh, it's getting more. So yeah, they're having their fight. Oh right, yeah. Well, the three is good because Dick is the one who figures out. Oh, they're fighting us based on what they know from the Bat Files. So you got to use stuff that you don't know from Batman. Yeah. He's talking Rousseau so there. He uses this uh, <laughs> that Starfire the pull me close twist from my old girlfriend Starfire. You know for. Combat him. <laughs> and then Jason, hair rock and hug, also learned from Starfire. What? I was on a team with her too, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, yeah, I mean, this again, this is it because it's just like, you know, Tim's just like, oh, what? My, you know, Bruce set up this gauntlet for me where it's like, you know, my parents, he's like, my father watched my mother die in agony. Yeah, because the OB man poisoned them. He's like, come on. Oh, right. Well, that was a bit interesting because um, because that's fake. I mean, as we know, and you kind of suspect, like, that's fake, Tim. But at the end, Dick's yeah. like, I'm sorry that I didn't realize right as soon as you said that. And he's like, well, like, I did. <laughs> I guess I did say that. Yeah. Or, you know, I would say that was me. But then he's like, adults sometimes have terrible ideas. So then you realize, yeah. okay, so he did say that. And now he's like, yeah, I don't really think that. But, you know, but it, 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 it's kind of weird. I mean, I don't know if maybe the story didn't pl doesn't play out now because it was like, what was that, like 1990 or something? So maybe the story plays out differently. But back then, Tim wasn't even on the scene. Bruce was on the scene, and he was doing everything he could to save Tim's parents. It was like down in Haiti or something. Yeah. Right, yeah. 
So it's like how I'm um, because I, I was like, well, how is that Tim's gauntlet? And, you know, he wasn't even there unless it was just how he dealt with the aftermath. I don't know. Well, they say it's because he used his rage to overcome his fear. Yes. So, yeah, I guess that's the thing is, I mean, some of, so, yeah, she is. You can say, but some of what he says is like, you know, you said I'd never be Batman because I'm soft. How about that? Am I merciless enough now? I mean, it's like, it's one of those things that you could see it as Tim just having a freak out, you know, as everyone does sometimes. Or, you know, of course, when you realize, oh, he was kidnapped then. We should have known because he was, but, you know. So, like, that was pretty good. Mm-hmm. And what about the biggest plot plot hole? It's like really they can't afford air condition an air con uh, even a window air conditioner. Come on. Um, maybe the window air conditioner like just died, and you know when it's hot out, you can't just immediately get one. I guess. But yeah, and now it's like the Obey Man smiled, so that's like a hint. The Obey Man is trying to tell you like that's not really Tim. Yeah, this is where I was like, mm, this art's not working for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Six mouths and stuff. And again, like when they're moving and stuff and like fighting, like their the hair, like everyone's hair like whips back. It looks it looks weird. Yeah. Again, the art style. I'm not I'm you know, I'm not saying anything bad about it, but yeah, it's not my cup of tea. I mean it's better than I can do. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. But that's definitely. a low bar. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, how think it's like your children are hurt in ways that can't be healed. One of our own is broken, so like he recognizes that that's messed up. Mm -hmm. Tim. Yeah, and then that one too. I'm like, just no, no, that's not. That's too weird. His face is too weird. And we're like, when we decided no, it wasn't. Robin wasn't a good thing. Isn't that Bruce? It's so mm -hmm. sad. Then Stephanie goes to talk to Lydia because she's like, something's up with her. And then we get confirmation that Tim has been captured. Thunder. Yeah, the storm is getting worse. Like I said, okay, I got to keep hurrying up because it's going to go out and then you'll have to finish it, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, but I just want you to get in your thought, whatever thoughts you have. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yeah. So of course, as we find out later, like she lets Tim do something in there, and then yeah, I think this was the thing that you were probably like, ah, uh, whatever. Like, why doesn't Dick get this? You know, in four when it started to. Like not be as as fun, but when they're like Jason and Dick are ready to go on a rampage, and they're like, "No, Rarky manipulated us. You wanted to look for something to punch." And he's like, "What we should have been wondering is instead of if you were a good role model, good thing Dick has his puppy Haley to make him feel better. Yes. Like what we should have been figuring is where's Tim Drake." So, so see if he has then, Haley, he has money. He can afford an air conditioner. Come on, he can afford central air. Come on. So then, then it's then it starts getting. This is where I'm like not as into it because it starts getting way computery, and I don't understand that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and again, it's comic book uh, science, right? Because it's like those it look like USB sticks. Mm -hmm. And I swear he shoves it into his eye. Mm. It's like, show me the light. Maybe it's just you shine it at yourself and then it starts. I don't know. But yeah, then Batman is like, okay, I'm explaining about this Cormac guy. Because yeah, of course, it's like, even though it's about the Robins, it's really also a big part about Batman. Yeah. So I was like, you don't know. You're playing, so she's like, 
Yeah. I think this one was probably my least favorite one. <laughs> yeah. Because, I don't know, it felt like it didn't have as much of the rabbits. I mean, this is a cool cover. Oh, yeah, number five, yeah. Five. <clears throat> but, again, it... Yeah, I think my favorites are probably, like, number one and number five, yeah. Oh, wait, five is my favorite. I just don't, it just, I mean, yeah, I guess it's... One and five, yeah. Because Dick figures out, well, he figures out, like, oh, Tim put some of this stuff in, and so... That's how I know I'm on the right track because Dragon R comes up. But I just was like, I don't think I buy it that he would become a spy. Yeah, no. And then Batman giving us the background of Woman Dodge. And then somehow you we get I guess they're like meeting in the game. And playing. Yeah, kind of like, like yeah, like, kind of like they're they're breaking through the illusion, yeah, and meeting each other, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, right, and then we get the background stuff. And they're kind of saying, <laughs> and this cracks me up, this picture of Dick, like, I mean, the way they have him laying, it's like he did drugs, but you don't see any drug paraphernalia. So it's like, what, he did let himself get fat? That's like the horrible thing. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, yeah, that's it's Yeah. And the beard. That's the thing, like, with this art. It's like, you don't know. Right. But at least, like, we aren't just there to catch Batman. He catches us. And then Jason, he's like, no, we fell because we weren't there for each other. And now that's how they open it up. And then we see Tim looking like uh, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> and then we come to six. Uh, I like think I like six better than five because of the Wait. mug. Oh, yeah, because you kind of wrapping everything up and, it, you know. But I guess I'm, yeah, a little bit confused. Okay, so they're like, Computer playing Gauntlet Zero. So they go in to the game, but then, like, Batman gives us the background. Okay. So they, oh, they get the background. They play through the game. And then Tim. So I don't like how is it that they figure out where to go? Because Tim says something like his hologram profile has unsanctioned belfry back doors. Please remove your eye devices. Avoid from Tim's uploading some data, so I'm, I'm assuming Tim just like sent them wherever they were supposed to go. Oh, and maybe it says the bad computer has facial recognition software to all of Gotham. So maybe they're like, through my backdoor thing, run a facial recognition software through all of Gotham and it'll tell you where to go. Yeah. That's where I was like, I'm confused with this. So Batman thinks he's beating up on Cormac McCarthy, but that is actually Tim, right? Um. <clears throat> Well, yeah, like, uh, is that Tim? Because I know, yeah, Bruce is like, yeah, I've been, I'm going to say hypnotized or something. Yeah, he's, he's, he's seen, because like eventually Dick's like, you know, Damien, go, you know, go help everyone else. I'll take care of Bruce. Right, yeah, because he's seeing and he thinks the kids are, you know, all tied up to the windows um, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, well, I think that's supposed to be Tim. Again, it's like kind of unclear because it looks like he has a beard, but I guess it's like, part Tim and he still like got the face of the guy. Yeah. But yeah, he's drugged with the tech. Bruce is in the tech. He doesn't see you guys. And then he's like, oh, I knew because the and this along my own profile, I played inside man. 
How do you know it was fake? Oh, okay. So he knew he was in a simulation yeah. because of the bird song. But it feels like, the, I guess because he told them, they also knew that they were in a game. Mm-hmm. I guess because they told them. But I like how I like how Dick like breaks Bruce out because he tells him something and you know the villain wouldn't know he's just like he's like I remember what the where the idea for Robin came from it was before the gauntlet yep. and basically just telling him about in when they were in the cave and it was just the two of them yeah like I said Robin and you kind of got a look on your face but I didn't know at the time. And then my fave part, after Bruce realizes Dick, then Bruce hugs him. Yeah! 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 What have I done? Nothing permanent yet. But it kind of reminds me of in the end of Obsidian Age, but it's like, Dick is hugging Bruce. Yeah. Bruce hugs him. And I was like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and basically, like, and the villain's just like, why, why, Bruce? Why? He's like, he's afraid you're too much like me. You didn't fail Gauntlet Zero, AJ. I did. So Jason stops her from getting hit by that bolt of lightning or whatever. <laughs> then knocks her out. <laughs> so I wonder if she I wonder if Jason kind of saw something in her because you know she she was raining her raven. It's like I'm not Jason, you can't remake me into one of your little soldiers. Yep. All right, then what do you think about the end? Because I already talked about how Dick was like, sorry, I didn't know right away. And he was like, well, she came from my it came from my profile. It was me. But sometimes adults have terrible ideas. <laughs> but then Jason is like, was this Gauntlet 6? Bruce? Mm-hmm. Bruce? Wah, wah. I like to think Bruce is not, not that. Not that sadistic? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't think Bruce would have let himself get that out of control if that was the gauntlet. Right, yeah. All right. Okay, Phil, do you have any thoughts you want to share? I feel like it was just me blabbing for 50 minutes. No, no, no. I share my thoughts. Again, like I said, the story was all right. There were little nitpicks, but yeah, the biggest problem was the art for me. Again, it wasn't my preferred style of artwork. Yeah. Yeah. Just something about it. I'd say B, B minus. What do you think? Yeah, probably B minus. I'll go with you on that one. Yeah. 80%. <laughs> yeah. Again, if you're if you're a fan of any of these Robins, I mean, it's worth a read. But yeah, I mean, it's probably not going to be your favorite, but I mean, it's worth a read. Well, I, I think the thing is, is it has some moments that I really, really like. Yeah. Like, Bruce hugging Dick, um, and I think each of the Robins gets a it gets at least one moment to shine yes. as you know the you know the detective, the smart one, you know figuring figuring it out, and that's good. And there are some funny little quips, but then there's just like aside from the art things that I'm like mm, that slightly hamper the enjoyment. Yes. All right. Anything else? I think I'm good. What's happening next week, Phil? Next week is a big week. Not only right. is it the new issue of Nightwing, uh, Nightwing 93, but it'll be the first week on this show of Summer of 69, so we're covering Batman 213. I picked big, that uh, one. I don't even remember what it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You picked everything. It's like that. Uh, I was looking. It's like that oversized issue. It's like the origin of Robin, the origin of Alfred. You know, it's a bunch oh, of. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's. And all of that will be on your big episode 150, kids. What? Next week is 
Kelly's 150. Wow. Yes. Bang. So you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck for 150, kids. So, yeah, so yes, next week starts summer 69. Uh, in two weeks, Detective Comics 390 and 391. Uh, week three, Detective Comics 394 and 395. And then we wrap up summer of 69 with Teen Titans 19 through 22. All picked by our uh, Dick Grayson historian here. So. All right. So, yes, so send your thoughts on... Uh, all of that, Summer 69, uh, the new issue comes out next week. Email us, Capes and Lunatic. I'm, and I'm sure Dark Crisis number two will be in there somewhere. So in the upcoming week. So sometime in July. All right. So, yeah, send your thoughts. Email us, Capes and Lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, follow Nightwing News on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, join the Nightwing fan group on Facebook. Uh, find all the links for all the social medias we do for all the shows. Uh, the YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe so you don't miss uh, a minute. Everything we do uh, gets a video, including every ep every episode of Summer of 69 will be on there. So smash that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Smash it. And most important, subscribe to the Patreon. Again, we're all paying for this out of our own pockets. Uh, it's a labor of love, but... For three to five dollars, you get early access to creator interviews, including Mr. DG Chichester, every month. I got the good mic out for you guys. And superhero movie brackets. We will find the worst superhero movie of all time. The June episode will be Superman 3 versus Superman 4. And if that's not enough, get yourself some Capes Lunatics and Capes Lunatics Sidekicks merch. Find it all at Linktree, L I N K T R dot E E slash Capes and Lunatics. And the Grayson fans, give yourself a treat. Give yourself a summer treat. Go get, pick up Dick Grayson, Boy Wonder. If you want to be in this Dick Grayson historian like Chris, then yes, pick up Dick Grayson, Boy Wonder. It'll be a nice refresher or a nice quick way to get yourself boned up on some Dick Grayson uh, history. So get that on Amazon. Link in the show notes. All right. Uh, all right, kids, and oh, and Kristen, we lost Kristen because of the storm. So, all right. So yes, come back next week. Again, summer of '69 begins with Batman 213, and we'll have Nightwing 93, the new issue. Yay. So, but yes, make sure to check out Summer 69 on all our shows uh, on Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks, all our uh, DC shows, Batman, Nightwing, Justice League, Green Lantern, and over on uh, Capes and Lunatics, where we have the Marvel stuff, uh, uh, Spider Man, Daredevil. Uh, we'll be doing Hulk on Capes and Lunatics and Thor on Avengers Declassified. So, Marvel, DC, you're going to get it all on Summer 69. All right. We'll come back next week for more Dick Grayson. Until then, join us same wing time. Same wing channel, the Nightwing News. <laughs>